Hey everyone, it's Preston. I am back with another video for my channel, Gastric Bypass Preston. Uh, the last video I talked about um, kind of the beginning of this whole process. Kind of gave you an overview of what my life was like. But now I'm going to start to tell you about how this journey all started. And it all started back when I was a kid living here in Oklahoma City. Uh, when I was a sophomore in high school at 15 years old, I was actually diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And it uh, wasn't an easy thing. It was a really tough thing to go through, um, but by the grace of God and by help of, uh, you know, uh, my psychiatrist and by therapy and getting help from friends and family, I was able to get through it. But that's when my whole process of weight gain started. Um, I probably was around somewhere around 220 pounds when I graduated high school. So I wasn't the skinniest guy in the world. Um, I was in marching band in high school and that helped a lot with keeping weight off. But after I got out of high school and I didn't have a lot of physical activity, things just started going downhill for me. Um, I was still happy, still had a great life, but I wasn't getting a lot of physical exercise. I was eating a lot of carbs. I was drinking a lot of pop. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do with my health. And that's when things started going downhill. Um, also with the medication I take, if, if you know anyone who struggles with the mental health uh, condition or a mental illness and they take medicine, you know that uh, psychotic medications can have side effects for weight gain. So it's not a good thing to deal with. But that kind of assisted my weight to get out of control. Um, but I'm not saying it was the medicine's fault. It was also my fault. Um, but I did overeat a lot. Um, that was a big problem. And I think I don't think I was so much of an emotional eater, but I did struggle with eating a lot. Um, my problem was when I was bored, I would eat. And I know a lot of people might have that problem. You know, you don't have anything to do. You're not working. You're at home. There's nothing to do for the time being, maybe on the weekend or something. And so you just say, hmm, that pizza in the oven, sh uh, that pizza in the fridge or the freezer sure does look good. Man, I wish I could have some of that. So that kind of happened to me. Um, over the last year, I probably put on 60 pounds. Uh, when I started my whole journey in April, March to April, I was 357 pounds. My, I'm 5'10", and my, um, my surgeon told me uh, for 5'10", a normal weight for a 5'10 male is somewhere between 160 and 180 pounds. So I was way over that limit, and it was not a good thing. It was hurting my knees all the time when I would exercise, you know, and I wasn't even exercising much, but when I get out and walk, like when I go to the fair or go out with my friends to walk around the mall, my knees hurt, my back hurt. It was not fun. So it was a lot, it was painful, and it wasn't fun. Um, but my whole journey started when I told uh, my family, look, I'm sorry that this has got out of control. We gotta do something about this. It's gonna affect my health in the future. So eventually I signed up to go to a seminar for a weight loss program here in the city. Um, but that's kind of what started it all. Now gastric bypass, I'll talk to you a little bit about that. What I've learned from it, what I've experienced with it. Um, gastric bypass, what they do in that is they use, it's laparoscopic and they'll go in to you. They'll make about five, on me they made about five or six small, probably inch incisions in your abdomen. And what they do is they go in with poles, um, and the surgery for me only took about 50 minutes. And I didn't have any complications. It went really smoothly for me. But what they do is they go in there, and they'll, um, they use titanium staples, and they'll staple off your stomach to make it about that big. Real small. Real small size stomach. Uh, to the point where after surgery, once you can get back on solid foods, um, you're only eating small tiny little pea-sized bites and you can't hold much food in your stomach you don't eat a whole lot so um but yeah that's what they do to the stomach they they bypass it also with your small intestine um if i'm and and correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but um if i understand what happens correctly they bypass your large intestine and they they take your small intestine and they attach it to your stomach instead of going from your stomach to your large intestine to your small intestine they go from your stomach to your small intestine instead. So your large intestine has no um, function at that point, but it still sits in there. So that's kind of how things go. Um, also, 
I am feeling fantastic today. I feel great. And this is my first video. I'm going to need to come. Um, I'm also going to be out, you know, exercising, showing y'all what I do. I walk a lot, you know, and, and, and um, I'm going to start lifting weights and stuff like that soon. But right now I'm walking probably an hour to two hours a day. I know a lot of people can't do that, but I have the time, so I do that. Um, but, you know, this is just the first of many videos to come. Second of many videos to come, my bad. Um, but I hope you all subscribe to my channel. And uh, I really hope. Anyone who's thinking about doing the surgery, I wish you all the best, and I hope that you go for it. Um, it is expensive, but a lot of insurance covers it, and also there are financing plans if you can't for a lot of companies, uh, a lot of places that do this. So um, if you have any questions, send me a comment, send me um, a message, and I'll be happy to help y'all in any way I can. But thanks for watching my video, and until next time, God bless.